Stove check. Just stove check. Stove check. Stove check. What's up, cuties? This is QQ. So welcome to our first episode of our new series called DIY K-pop Plaza, where we recreate the costumes worn by K-pop stars in their latest music video. So for our first episode, we decided to recreate this gorgeous dress worn by Taeyeon from her latest music video called I Got Love, which was surprisingly very simple and easy to make. So for this project, you'll need two and a half yard of hologram jersey fabric and make sure it has enough elasticity so that you don't have to insert a zipper. So you guys know the drill, the final epic lookbook will be at the end of the video so make sure to stick with us to the end and also comment down below what costume we should recreate for our next episode. So let's get this baby started! First thing first, grab your favorite dress and make sure it is a fitted dress. Then trace a half of front and back neckline, shoulder, armhole, side seam, and the hem. Next, let's raise the neckline higher so that it fits close around your neck. To do that, simply raise the center front and back neckline up to above your collarbone and side neckline close to where your neckline and shoulder line intersects. Now let's retrace the front and back dress so that you have two separate patterns. Then add seam allowances accordingly and cut one unfold for both front and back. Next, trace the sleeve of your favorite dress. Then add seam allowances accordingly and cut two unfold. Now we're going to create pattern for the turtleneck by first measuring the seam line of the front and back neckline. Let's call the front neck measurement a star and back neck measurement a triangle. Next, draw a rectangle where the length is equivalent to the addition of star and triangle measurement and width that is equivalent to 2 inch. You know the drill, add quarter inch seam allowances all around and cut one. Finally, we're going to create ruffle patterns by drawing a rectangle with length that is as long as possible with the fabric that you have and a width that is equivalent to 4.5 inch. We're going to need a lot of ruffle patterns so cut as many as you can. Place the front and back dress correct side facing each other and sew the shoulder and side seams together in half an inch. Next, fold the sleeves in half and sew it in half an inch. Fold the turtleneck in half and lengthwise and sew it in half an inch. Now sew the sleeves to the armhole all around in half an inch. Moving back to the turtleneck, fold it in half and widthwise and pin it around the neckline and sew them together in quarter inch. Make sure to not to pull the neckline when sewing them together. Ta-da! Now grab your ruffles and cut several pieces and connect them together just like how I'm doing right here if your ruffles aren't long enough. Grab a needle and a thread and we're going to base stitch one side of the length. It's basically a wide and loose thread that is going to be pulled from one side to create ruffles. Don't worry about making it too long because we can always cut the excess at the end. Position the ruffles on the dress so that it creates a V at the front and continues across the back shoulder and meets again at the center front. Finish the hem by turning over 1 inch and sew them in place. This is optional but I also created about 2 inch slit at the side seam. To create the earrings, prepare a hoop earrings and a rhinestone ribbons. Cut the ribbons into about 4 inch and insert it through the hoop earrings. That's it! So we hope you guys enjoyed this new series and please comment below which costume we should recreate next for our DIY K-pop closet and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye bye!